summer starts, Dwayne North Texas finds itself in a dog fight to maneuver into playoff position with a critical showdown at league leading Chattanooga looming on Tuesday. North Texas hopes their focus is sharp tonight with last place North Carolina limping into Arlington, but the visitors hungry to snap a two game stint and a register an upset. That would have major USL League One implications. It's North Texas playing host to North Carolina FC. We welcome you to Globe Life Park in Arlington. I'm Ken Lavica, and let's look at our United Way player to watch. Kazu, he's done it all. A converted left back. He has found a home on the wing for Eric Quill's side. He has four goals in the last five matches, including that powerful blast against Tucson last Saturday in a 2-0 victory. Kazu, this one of his two goals. Here's the second against forward Madison three weeks ago. That was a brace. Kazu now twice this season on the USL League One Team of the Week, including an entry as the Player of the Week. North Carolina has its work cut out for it because of Kazu, because of the offensive weapons for North Texas, and because the defense has been straight up poor the last two weeks. After registering three clean sheets in the month of July, North Carolina has forgotten how to defend. They've conceded seven goals in the last two matches, nine in the previous three. They'll have to shore it up tonight, or this one could be over and could be over early for the team at the bottom of the U.S. Sell League One table. North Texas trying to jockey for playoff position. North Carolina looking for an eyebrow raising upset. What will happen? We'll find out tonight from Arlington. It's USL League One on ESPN Plus. Through our work during the pandemic, we've touched the lives of more than half a million people and their families. But we cannot continue our efforts and meet the ongoing demands without you. Please give to our Rebuild Tarrant County Fund and support your United Way and the community that we all love so dearly. Join us as we reimagine and rebuild a stronger Tarrant County by going to RebuildTarrant.org. Thank you for caring. Thank you for living united. We're the ones that help keep you on track and stay with you through every push. Helping you dig out from injuries and keeping your mind and body in the game. We fuel you for battle. So you can stay in the fight, no matter what. Whatever you do, Texas Health Sports Medicine is here for your win. $1,250 customer cash or qualified buyers get 0% APR financing for 60 months on a new 2021 Camry. Hurry in today. Toyota, let's go places. Saturday night soccer deep in the heart of Texas. North Texas SC and North Carolina. We welcome you back to Globe Life Park. I'm Ken Levicka. Let's go through our starting 11s presented by MTX. And we're going to take our first look here at the hosts under third year head man Eric Quill. Gabriel de Moraes, the young Brazilian, signed last Thursday, making his second appearance. He's going to get his first start in a North Texas uniform. Khalil Almedkar, who spent time with FC Dallas, along with Kazu. That's a very formidable front line. Colin Shuttler in goal tonight for North Texas. For North Carolina, Cristo at the top of the formation in this 4-1-4-1. The midfield of Cohen, Frame, Pearson, and Al Badawi, who wears the captain's armband tonight. Keys to the game. 
And they are driven by Toyota for North Texas. Take care of business. No messing around against the team at the bottom of the table, especially with Chattanooga looming on Tuesday. North Carolina, you've conceded seven in the last nine. Got to find confidence and do it early. North Texas, four victories, one defeat, three draws this season at home. The friendly confines for them of Globe Life Park. The only hiccup, the only defeat they've suffered came against Chattanooga. Referee tonight, Kevin Ficar. North Texas in their home reds. And North Carolina, the road whites were underway. Football in North Texas. As USL League One continues on with this weekend slate on ESPN Plus. North Texas early trying to deliver one into the box and you can already see the pace in which North Texas is gonna try and break down North Carolina FC. North Carolina has had some bad luck when it comes to teams that are rested. Prior to the loss to New England two, Revs two had 13 days off. Chattanooga coming into Tuesday was on an 11 day break and respectively North Carolina falling three nothing and four to one in those contests. This will roll out of play. And it'll lead to a North Texas free kick. Injury report presented by Texas Health Sports Medicine. Viniegra and Alison are out tonight for North Texas. Pekka and Luis Ariaga really affecting that midfield for North Carolina. They did not make the trip to this Dallas area. This is spread out wide to Hope Avayevu. Avayevu patient with the ball onto his right foot, try to play it through. Broken up nicely by Malik Hamilton. North Carolina wants to try and hit on the counter. Nothing doing though, says Mikey Maldonado. North Texas last time here at Globe Life Park, a 1-1 draw against Chattanooga. And then went on to pull off a draw at Union Omaha and win at Tucson 2-0 last Saturday. This is a North Texas side, five wins, five defeats, four draws, 19 points in the table, sit eighth, but entered tonight just three points back of that coveted sixth and final playoff spot held by New England two. And New England, so far this evening, is on the wrong end of a two nothing game against Richmond right now in Richmond. That's in the 74th minute. Now Medcar. Pushes forward, here's a cross, and making the diving stop. Halting play is Jake McGuire. Good decision there from the veteran. North Texas putting pressure on early. Ahmed Carr, who's seen two appearances with FC Dallas this season, starting that run. And McGuire putting the clamps down. McGuire, 31 saves this season. Played previously in Sweden last year, was selected 30th overall by Philadelphia Union in the 2017 MLS Super Draft. This is his 12th appearance of the year for North Carolina FC, and he has been an incredible asset for the emerging youngster, Nicholas Holiday, in goal for John Bradford's side. Holiday, the 15-year-old, won save of the week honors in USL League One for his diving stop, his scissor kick save against New England in that 3-0 defeat. Holiday has been spectacular. He has a flair for the dramatic in goal. And he has a very high ceiling and it does not hurt that he's in that same goalkeeping room with Jake McGuire. North Carolina wants to maintain some possession, at least attempt to try and keep North Texas from coming at them in waves as North Texas likes to do their organized chaos. They keep pushing and pushing and pushing and putting the pressure on. John Bradford is hopeful that North Carolina can have some opportunities with this young group to get out on the run. 
prior to their back-to-back -back losses, North Carolina had enjoyed back-to-back -back victories to start showing a bit of a glimmer of hope. But as they have been afflicted by for vast portions of this season, inconsistency has really hurt this club. They have been at the bottom of the table for the majority. Here's something potentially developing, though. Cohen on the ball as he maneuvers into the corner. Cohen, well done, fighting against Colin Smith. North Carolina able to maintain possession. Cohen trying to feed it into the box. Picked off, though, by Mikey Maldonado, but North Carolina wins it right back. is pushed forward to be retrieved by Waldeck of North Texas and it's funneled towards the back some issues and North Texas comes out of that unscathed though that was a bit dicey and then a foul from behind and this will be a free kick for North Texas as Cristo is called for the foul since 1947 select has been the leader in soccer ball quality and innovation select the official ball supplier of the USL championship and many of the elite leagues throughout Europe for the latest select products and special offers. Visit SelectSportAmerica.com. That's SelectSportAmerica.com. North Carolina at three, nine, and three. Three wins, nine losses, and three draws. Only 12 points in this USL League One table. 2021, their debut in this league after moving from the USL Championship. Lane Ferry try to play it through. North Carolina's defense holds there. In the 4-1 loss on Tuesday, North Carolina got hit first in the 13th minute by Hernandez. Dietrich followed in the 21st, and then Gallandres and Ricketts in the 70th and 76th minute, respectively, for the USL League One table toppers, Chattanooga Red Wolves. Jimmy Oblata's squad all season long has made a campaign out of dramatic, late heroics. Tuesday was not one of those instances. That was comfortable. John Bradford was not happy after the loss. He told the NC State technician, quote, we did not begin the game in any way, shape, or form prepared to play a professional soccer game. Pretty bold words from the boss of North Carolina. This is floated in, a test for Shuttler from Malik Hamilton. Shuttler, no problems, brings it into his chest, but there is our first shot on goal of the night, and there's a look at Colin Shuttler who certainly appears as if now there's no doubt he is the number two keeper for Eric Quill and North Texas. This is Shuttler's first appearance in goal since July 3rd. Shuttler losing his number one goalkeeping job to Richard Sanchez, who has been spectacular the last month. Shuttler allowed six goals in two matches a 3-2 loss at Richmond and a 3-0 defeat against Revs 2. And we have not seen Shuttler in a match since then. Tonight, he gets the go here against North Carolina. Shuttler, though, has pedigree. Taken 48th overall in this past year's MLS Super Draft by the First Division Club FC Dallas. He was actually brought up to the number one club on May 22nd, trained with them. And then the bottom fell out for him. All ACC first team in his time starring for the University of Virginia. Trying to get back some of that magic that made him so sought after heading into 2021. And they'll try to do it tonight against a North Carolina side that is second to last in USL League One in goal score. Long ball forward. On the chase was Cole Frame for North Carolina. He scored the lone goal against Chattanooga Tuesday, but Shuttler's there to pick it up on a couple of hops. Oh 
North Carolina spent some time in the attacking third. Nothing incredibly dangerous, but at least making North Texas feel them a bit. And North Texas will try and build out of the back. This is pushed to the right. Good ball, and North Texas develops here, pushing numbers forward. Now Medcar on his right foot, cuts it to his left, now Medcar! What control! North Texas inside the opening 10 minutes goes on top. Well, North Carolina once again sees its defense dinged early. Here's the Advocare replay. Way too much real estate for El Medcar to be able to operate in. Spent a lot of time able to survey. Get it onto his left foot and calmly blast it past Jake McGuire. There was nothing McGuire was gonna do on an island. And El Medcar, his second goal in a North Texas shirt, makes it one nothing. Well, that is bad news for North Carolina. Because you don't really know what they're gonna be able to bring in here on the attack. Eric Quill, a very happy head coach. When we talked to him earlier this week, he said this is the definition of a trap game. You have a team come in that's bottom of the table, has not looked particularly good the last few weeks. You know that you have, as a foul happens in the back here, and we're gonna have a free kick for North Texas, but you know you have the first place team coming up in just four days. The focus, it's easy for a group of youngsters to be looking ahead and it's easy to suffer a shocking loss in situations like this. Quill said, I've seen it throughout my coaching career, but his team responds here and shows its manager that, hey, we're keyed in on the situation at hand. Khalil El Medkar. That front three of Almedkar, Demarias, and Kazu. Eric Will giving that a look tonight. That certainly seems like something that could be dangerous. Here's a chance across to the top of the area. Heel kicked out of trouble by North Texas. And now the men in red want to run. Held up by Ferry. And he plays it back to Derek Waldeck. Long ball up the touchline. On the move is Kazu. He is pushed off the ball by Malik Mbai. And McGuire's gonna take care of business here. And now we have an injured player on the turf for North Texas. This happened behind the play, so not real sure what would have happened here. Kevin Ficar comes over to check on the injured player. And that's Avayevu, I believe. He's having some trouble here on the turf. For North Texas, it's gonna be all hands on deck Tuesday against Chattanooga. The Red Wolves are really tough at home. They've been really tough at home and on the road, to be clear, but going to Chattanooga with an increasingly robust home crowd is that area begins to believe a little bit that they could have a championship contender. And North Texas showed a lot of fortitude going into Union Omaha two weeks ago, grabbing a 1-1 result, and then that 2-0 victory against Tucson last Saturday. There you see some of the crowd here at Globe Life Park. Former home of the Texas Rangers on the baseball side. Avayevu is up and doesn't appear to be too hobbled. There you see him with some major sweat dripping off his face. It's actually 
unseasonably cool, at least from a temperature standpoint here tonight. 79 degrees at kickoff. That's right. We are in mid-August, and North Texas is experiencing temperatures in the 70s on a summer night. But don't worry, the humidity at 75%. So it might be comfortable from a temperature standpoint, but the air is heavy as you would expect. Avi Yevu, who has recovered from whatever was afflicting him, pushes forward to Waldeck. That's an outstanding ball. Waldeck gets to it. <laughs> now waits for numbers. Back to Avi Yevu, who distributes well again. Ferry thought about going back to Avi Yevu, who was making a run along that left touch line, and instead it's played back in the defensive third, and Shuttler is going to get involved. August is USL Supporters Month. We want to hear from you, the fan. Visit uslleague1.com forward slash supporters dash month for more information on how you can get involved and have a chance to be featured as the supporter of the week. uslleague1.com forward slash supporters dash month for more information. Throw in from Waldeck. It's played back to Kazu. North Texas on top, 1-0, thanks to a Khalil El Medkar goal in the 10th minute. North Texas, or North Carolina rather, has yet to really find its footing on the attack. And the defense has largely been pretty good here early, for the exception of allowing El Medkar way too much room to maneuver and pick the exact place he wanted to go in the area before beating Jake McGuire. Foul on Colin Smith. Take a look at this again as this was punched over the top. Colin Smith jostling and fighting with Peter Pearson, and Pearson took the worst of that, went down in pain. And now Pearson's up and appears to be fine. Avayevu came up to pressure McGuire, who had to fly that away. This is the first meeting all time between these clubs, with North Carolina this year being its debut in League One. Good turn there from Frame. The 18-year-old showing nice poise as North Carolina tries to build some shape here. And shoveled off to the left. This got through. Here's a shot. Make that a delivery from distance, but it's off the mark. Martinez was trying to find someone making a run on the right. Hamilton ended up being the closest on the end of that, but was not going to be able to handle that ball. And what looked for a moment to be promising results in a North Texas defensive third throw. Yevu takes some contact from behind, maintains possession, well done. And pushing forward is Colin Smith. North Texas being patient here. This is punched over the top, Kazu. The flag is up, he's offside. And the 21-year-old Brazilian has been quite a revelation for North Texas. He came in on loan from uh, Coritiba in Brazil. He was a left back by trade, but as Eric Will explains it, in the first couple of weeks he was with the club in team drills, he was just taking it at defenders. He was winning foot races. He was showing acumen around the goal. And they decided, why don't we give him a shot on the wing on the attack? And he's found a home. Here's Frame. Frame on his right foot. Punches it to the middle of the area, but it's cleared away by Rio Ramirez. And then Cole Frame made that look easy as he knifed through that North Texas back four, and perhaps he should have been selfish even from an awkward angle and tried to challenge Shuttler. And the last time we saw him was really fighting it. 
That was the first true chance here for North Carolina. Frame battling Waldeck and won that duel. Trying to find Frame was Martinez. It never made it to him, and North Texas has to clear once again. But North Carolina has turned North Texas a bit desperate here defensively as they look to draw level after falling behind early. This is a nice response from the 12th place team in League One. Frame again. His touch failed him. He almost got there. Colin Smith hustling, make that Salas hustling. And he mishandled it out of play. It's going to be a North Carolina throw in. Mark Salas in that back four for North Texas, making his first start, the Arlington native, who signed a month ago. Frame's gonna play it back. Hamilton was waiting for a ball in the corner and never got to him. North Texas, can they get on the counter? No. Frame wins it back. Abagebu went down once again. Albadawi's dispossessed. A fight for it. No foul. North Texas wants to run. You have to be careful here. Abagebu has recovered from that injury. Onto his right foot. Tries to play it through. A horizontal run. Almedkar able to get there. Almedkar battling in the corner. Foul on Abayevu as he challenged Hamilton. And Abayevu, who's been throwing his body all over the place, is about to get shown a car. There you see Almedkar. Check that. That was De Marias in the corner. Hamilton comes up on that ball. And it is a studs up challenge from Abayevu as the referee, still with card in hand waiting for Abayevu to receive medical attention before he officially shows the card. The suspense is palpable. This is the second time that Abayevu has needed the trainer to come out and pay some attention. Now he's up on his feet. There's the showing of the card. And we have gone through the proper process. And Abayevu is going to have to Stay off the pitch here. Looks like he's been having some problems with his lower back. And I think Abayevu is going to come off. And it looks like we do have confirmation that his night is done. It certainly looks like a lower back issue. And Nicky Hernandez is going to come on for him. So it'll be number 10 off, number 80 on, a 23rd minute substitution. For North Texas, Abayevu has to come off with that back injury. And now Nicky Hernandez makes his 10th appearance of the year. And you see Hernandez getting sent to come off. So not officially a 23rd minute substitution. We'll get that official number as soon as play stops once again. It's a long ball forward. Right now, North Texas playing with 10 men. Lee Hamilton delivered by Pearson. Headed up into the air. Shuttler able to snatch it with two hands. North Carolina has grown into this match a bit, though, after the Almed card goal in the 10th minute. There's Kazu looking out of the midfield. Now Waldeck, the 23-year-old, will Deliver it to Salas. Now Shuttler. Bit of a sweeper keeper there from Shuttler. Oh, Ferry, that's nifty. Playing out of the back. Lane Ferry, a former Fort Lauderdale man, showing some moves. The ball deck is dispossessed. Ferry wins it back and earns his team a free kick. And here comes Nicky Hernandez. So it's officially a 24th minute substitution. And there he is. Nicky Hernandez, nine appearances, three goals last season for North Texas. Played his college ball at SMU. He has trained with the first team, FC Dallas, at points this year. Salas works to the middle, 
Wants Elmed Carr. Elmed Carr fumbles it, makes a mess of that across the end line, and McGuire gets set to launch it away. Now North Carolina has been hurt by some departures for college, as is prone to happening this time of year, especially in a league like USL League One. You have some key contributors that have to go report to their college teams. Injuries certainly have not helped the cause. But North Carolina has just been snake bitten all year long. Just no consistency and have never really found any semblance of a strong attack. Hernandez, good ball, chips it forward. El Medcar, can he find two? It's off the post. Kazu! Kazu just flat out scores goals. It comes off the post and he deposits it into the back of the net. Five goals in six matches for the Brazilian, and it's 2 0. Well, this all started with a great ball from Hernandez. El Medcai with the run. Great first touch. Left foot off the post. Kazu right there from the spot. And he pushes it home. And North Texas in complete control. Kazu has five goals on the year. They've all come in the last six matches. He has been outstanding. And the 21-year-old Makes it 2 nothing, and now North Texas looking for more, and this is a bad challenge. Hernandez goes down, clutching at his hip. And he almost somersaulted. Shermaine Martina called for the infraction. And that could have drawn yellow. There was no play on the ball there. It was simply try and impede progress of the man making the run. That's what Derek Waldeck is arguing to Kevin Feikar, the referee. And yeah, that was not a play on the ball. That should be a card. And no card is shown. Kazu with his fifth of the season, the second tonight for North Texas. El Medcar and Kazu are on the score sheet. And they have controlled the wings. The assist for Nicky Hernandez, who has just come on. He spends less than two minutes on the pitch and he picks up the assist. Long ball forward over the head of Dave Marias, who's the only forward now is not scored tonight for the men in red. And he'll look to get into the action in his second appearance for North Texas. That's dangerous in the back. This is punched away. Waldeck controls. Something developing here. Ferry. That's headed down. Good anticipation. Now, bad news though for North Texas. They were three points heading into tonight, three points back of the sixth spot, that final playoff spot in League One. Richmond jumped out to a 2 0 lead, but Revolutions to, uh, Revolution 2. They get a buck goal in the 86th, they kiss a goal in the 87th, and a 2-2 draw. So no matter what happens here tonight, North Texas will remain on the outside of the playoff picture. Shuttler has that delivered right into his hands by Cohen. Some problems in the back, Cohen wins it back. North Carolina needs something positive here. Cole Frame to Hamilton. Attempted a ball through, is launched away and has to be retrieved by Malik Mbai. 
Again, New England two scores twice late, 86th and 87th minute to stun a home Richmond crowd and draw a point on the road, 2-2. And it's just gone full time. Now Medcar wins it back for North Texas. Here's Hernandez. That's tackled away and now a foul against Colin Smith of North Texas and we're gonna have a free kick coming, an indirect free kick. This frame took the worst of that. Halftime in Madison, forward Madison, a one nothing lead. Or check that, they have actually entered the second half now. Ford Madison up two to one on Tormenta. Tormenta had drawn level after a Trimmingham goal for Ford Madison in the 23rd. Micheletto converted a penalty in the 47th minute. But as moments ago, Suko for Ford Madison. Put them back on top. Here's a free kick. This is whipped in. Shuttler able to retrieve it. Ford found Robert Cristo. Well done by Shuttler. Shuttler has a seventh appearance of the season and again his first in over a month here for North Texas. One back in the midfield, Pearson. Looking for Cristo, unable to win that foot race that eventually was won by Mark Salas. Just past the half hour mark in Arlington. Cristo with the touch and the turn, but he was grabbing on to Salas and he's called for the foul. Now Medcar and Kazu are the goal scorers for North Texas. North Carolina has put two shots on goal, but neither particularly dangerous. The USL is on ESPN. Two of the East's best clash to kick off a fall to remember when the USL on ESPN continues. Perennial contenders Louisville City FC travel to Dillon Stadium, meet Hartford Athletic in a potential playoff preview. That's September 7th, 7 p.m. on ESPN2, the USL. ESPN, September 7th, Louisville City and Hartford Athletic. We mentioned North Texas has that huge one coming up at Chattanooga on Tuesday. Meanwhile, North Carolina will play host to forward Madison on Wednesday. So a tough stretch here for North Carolina. This is headed forward. It was mishandled momentarily by Nelson Martinez. Played back. Fired into the area. One back by Albadawi. Lofted in, never found Albadawi. Headed away by Ramirez. Pearson fights for it. Wins it back for North Carolina. They're still battling. There's no Heads hung here despite this 2-0 score line. Hamilton, it found a man in the box. Albadawi though couldn't control it. Cristo thought it was coming to him as they both looked at one another. And then contact and a foul. And it looks like a card came out as well. We'll look here as Almedkar was trying to come out of his own area. And that'll be Max Flick, who's been shown yellow for North Carolina. So we've had two yellows issued. One to Hopava Yevu, who has since left the match with a, an apparent back injury. And Max Flick draws North Carolina's first card here tonight. Two yellows in the first half. And it just proves how Weird a game soccer is because these two teams entered tonight tied for the least number of yellow cards in USL League One with 28. So of course they both have one in the opening 45.
All it takes for North Carolina is one goal to get back into this and believe a bit. Kevin Feikar getting into the action, our referee. There's Hamilton, step over. Hamilton working against Kazu. Now al -Badawi, captain's armband tonight. Back to Hamilton. Can Frame get there? No, Kazu beats him. Kazu, fascinating because he is playing as a forward, but he, again, his natural position is left back, so he wants to get back there and mix it up. Not only is he more than capable of coming back to defend, that's actually, for most of his professional career, been his job. Except now he's a prolific scorer. You gotta think that the future is bright for Kazu, who has had a whole new element of his game unearthed. And there's Kazu again. And Salas coming over to help as well. It'll be frame to throw in here. Now he will defer to Hamilton, the 21 year old Canadian. 36th minute. This is pushed on to frame. Graham trying to battle Hernandez. Hernandez stole it right back, and now Hernandez making a strong run here. Hernandez able to draw the contact from behind on frame, just lined him up. Quick restart, Almedkar, an overlapping run coming behind him. There's a ball into the box, touchdown, Damarias. Over the bar, he was looking for his goal. Was a bit off balance. Martina flashed at him defensively at the last moment. Here's the Advocar replay. Well done by Maldonado. De Morais did well to control it, but he anticipated the contact coming and the ball flew on him a bit. Man, North Texas has really showed off some outstanding entry balls here tonight. It hasn't been this full force storm that we've come to expect from North Texas on the attack. It's been more weight, survey, pick your spot, pinpoint accuracy on the pass, and then let the goal scorers go to work. Hamilton gets this back into play, the former Toronto FC Academy product. And then loses it out of play. Kazu says, don't worry, Nikki Hernandez, I'll handle the throwing duties. Now, Kazu, who is a two-time Team of the Week recipient in USL League One here in 2021. Looks like he might be well on his way to a third. Smith was looking for El Medcar, never got there. Martina came up to snuff that out. You know, we mentioned the age of North Carolina. We mentioned, and you talk to John Bradford, you mentioned just the youth and the learning that still needs to take place. But North Carolina has a starting 11 tonight. Our only one member of the 11 is in his teens, and that's Cole Frame. Everybody else in their 20s, including the 29-year-old Nazmi Albadawi. There is Albadawi. Cristo, he of 28 years of age. Now Hamilton. Hamilton with Waldeck draped over his back. Gives some room to Pearson. Now Cohen. Cohen's pass blocked. Pearson wins it back. Bad ball. Waldeck comes down with it. Waldeck on a run. 
Doesn't have numbers with him, but he's still going. Waldeck, look at this. Waldeck dumps it off to Damarias. What a spectacular goal. Derek Waldeck, take a bow. And he puts it on the feet of Damarias, who has his tally. What an effort. On the counter, two on five. 3-0, North Texas. Waldeck, magic. The wherewithal to find a Marias. And every forward for North Texas has found the back of the net. Derek Waldeck, his fourth assist of the year, and put a gold star on that one. That will surely be the most memorable of those four. And it's officially a route in Arlington. Now North Carolina is being outplayed and they just rolled out a red carpet for Derek Waldeck. Pearson had it picked off in the midfield and Waldeck just decided that he was going to lead the odd numbered attack completely against the run of play. And that instance might have been against the run of play but North Texas has had its way here tonight. Absolutely no looking ahead to Chattanooga on Tuesday. This has been an ironclad effort. Can North Carolina get one back? No, Colin Smith able to poke it away from Albadawi from behind. That looked like something promising. And instead it'll be a corner. Michelob Ultra Corner is going to be delivered by Albadawi. And we had some pushing and shoving and jockeying before Albadawi could put his right foot into the ball. And now we're going to have a talking to here. The referee Kevin Ficar tells Rio Ramirez and Robert Cristo to come over. And now Albadawi is ready again. And here's his corner. Whips in an in-swinger. Headed away, Cristo heads it down. Flying in was Nicky Hernandez. Almedcar wins it back, and North Texas wants to get off to the races again. Max Flick came over and draws a foul on Almedcar. Nifty play there from Flick. Almedcar, that touch there is ultimately would lead to him making contact with the toes of Flick. That is pushed out of play. So Shuttler's gonna amble over as North Texas. Looks like it's gonna try and bleed out this first half. All three men at the top of the North Texas 4-3-3. Almedkar, Kazu, and Marias, they have scored tonight. North Texas has not wasted any chances. They have four shots on goal. Three of them have found the back of the net, and the one that didn't hit the post. This is played forward. Waldeck was making a run and never found him. And North Carolina on the counter, but offside was Cristo. Cristo just cut off his run, knowing what was coming. I suppose, though, in this situation where you're down three nothing, why not continue making the run? 
just in case. You're looking for anything to go your way right now. I mean, perhaps the side referee just, the side official just completely blows it. And you're able to walk in on the doorstep. Kazu, he has a lot of room to run. Kazu surveys. Kazu, wall deck, cross, deflected out of play. Michelob Ultra corner coming for North Texas. Kazu, instead of seeking out his brace, decided to distribute, get Waldeck involved. Derek Waldeck with one of the better assists you're gonna find. Covering nearly three quarters of the field, taking on five different defenders and picking out Gabriel De Marias for the third North Texas goal. Ferry a short corner. Kazu, now Waldeck. Shovels it back into the corner. Ferry to Kazu in the area. Left-footed shot off the mark. Ambitious from Kazu, but when you're on a goal-scoring streak like he is, you say, hey, let's see what sort of magic I can try and pull off. McGuire not tested on that occasion. Two minutes of stoppage time presented by MTX about what we suspected. We have had one substitution tonight came on the North Texas side. Hope Abigebu being subbed out in the 24th minute by Nikki Hernandez with again what appeared to be a lower back problem. Ferry is a little bit knocked up here. As he limps. And Maldonado gets play back underway. Well, North Texas pressed for anything here in the waning moments of the half. They should be thrilled with this 3-0 scoreline. They have played very well. Eric Quill warned of a trap game. And North Texas has rewarded its coach with three first half goals to avoid any discussion of that. This has been one-sided affair so far. North Carolina allowed two first half goals Tuesday in the 4-1 loss at Chattanooga. They concede three in the opening 45 here tonight in Arlington. And at halftime at Globe Life Park, it is all North Texas. El Medcar, Kazu, De Marias, the goal scores, and it's 3-0 North Texas at the break. We will start the halftime after this. It's USL League One on ESPN+. Plus. $1,250 customer cash or qualified buyers get 0% APR financing for 60 months on a new 2021 Camry. Hurry in today. Toyota, let's go places. What if we were wrong this whole time? Wrong in thinking that joy happens only at the end, after the sacrifice, after the win. What if happiness has always been there, fueling the run toward greatness? What if joy is the whole game, not just the end game? Can I kick it? Can I kick it? We're the ones that help keep you on track and stay with you through every push. Helping you dig out from injuries and keeping your mind and body in the game. 
We fuel you for battle. So you can stay in the fight, no matter what. Whatever you do, Texas Health Sports Medicine is here for your win. Halftime in Arlington between North Texas and North Carolina FC. A busy, busy week of USL League One as always as this playoff picture starts to take shape and let's take a look back at it. And we will open with the defending champs who you're gonna see tomorrow against Fort Lauderdale, Greenville and Tormenta. And to put it quite simply, Greenville has been nothing but tormented by Tormenta. Meyer felt in in the 10th minute loose ball in the six yard area and he blasts it home and it was a quick start for Dor Tormenta, the Statesboro side up 1-0. Wouldn't take all that long though for Greenville to equalize last Saturday. Abara, the edge of the area, step over, tucks it inside the post. That is beautifully done. An exceptional finish from the youngster. But after halftime, it was all Tormenta. Look at Muller on this play. Here's the cross and just taps it home. One of the easiest goals that he will ever have. Just a picture perfect delivery. The goalkeeper commits and an easy finish. It was two to one, Tormenta. And then they would put the icing on the cake just three minutes later. Their leading goal scorer, Micheletto with the power goes low. A statement victory for South Georgia Tormenta. Greenville only two wins in the last two months. Some hard times for John Hark's club and Tormenta its third victory over Greenville Triumph this year. A match that did not find completion. Union Omaha and forward Madison early. It's Nuhu that's pressed into a save coming off his line for Union Omaha. And then the hosts strike. Dalton Knutson in the 19th minute. The header able to put it upper left. But then the weather would strike. The fourth official sees lightning in the area, 58th minute, and that would do it for the proceedings on the evening. It'll be a match that's rescheduled later in the year and picked up from that 58th minute. In the desert, North Texas able to go on the road, and they looked good. Here you see the opening goal from Kazu. Good ball movement, nice possession here from North Texas. A give and go, flick on, Kazu. That's his fourth goal in the last five matches. Kazu, there's a reason why he, for a second time this season, is on the USL League One Team of the Week, North Texas. Just 15 minutes later, Jabron Rayo says, I'll give it a go from just inside the area. And he is able to beat Wallace Lapsley, a frustrated Wallace Lapsley. Two nothing at that point, that would be the final North Texas Pulls in all three on the road. Then on Tuesday, Chattanooga, North Carolina FC. This one was over quite early. Hernandez on the board for Chattanooga in the 13th minute. It would take only eight minutes for Dietrich to strike with a sliding finish. Chattanooga has been the most consistent club in USL League One over the past month and a half, and they continue to show why. Galindrez in the 70th minute off of the corner. It was 3-0 at that point. Chattanooga, though, they wouldn't be done. They were looking for more, and they got more. Ricketts in the 76th minute. A cheeky cross to the back post, tucked in. 4-0 in favor of Chattanooga. North Carolina FC would get its goal. Cole Frame in extra time, 94th minute, tucks it home with a left foot, but not nearly enough. Chattanooga four, North Carolina FC won, and that sent Chattanooga to the top of the table. More to come here in the Lone Star State, North Texas and North Carolina on ESPN+. generation student here at Bellevue University. I feel like I, if I were to have gone to a different university, my experience would have been a lot more 
like stressful and overwhelming because I feel like I wouldn't have gotten that personal experience that Bellevue University has to offer. Turtleneck sweater, Worcestershire, or Shire, I guess. It doesn't matter what I say, the Camry speaks for itself. Get $1,250 customer cash, or qualified buyers get 0% APR financing for 60 months on a new 2021 Camry. Hurry in today. Toyota, let's go places. 45 minutes in the books in Arlington News and Notes. USL League won the July Coach of the Month as a man that we are seeing tonight. John Bradford, the boss at North Carolina FC. Two draws and a win in, in the month of July. Damian Rivera, the player of the week in USL League. One from Revs 2, and there is that man. Fully pictured here, presented by Clear Audio. The team of the week. You see Kazu for North Texas, prominently featured in the midfield as well after that goal at Tucson in a 2-0 victory last Saturday for tonight's hosts. The table, there's Chattanooga, 28 points right at the top. They have Leapfrog, Union, Omaha, Greenville, despite the fact that they have only two victories in the last two months. They are only four points off the top of the table. North Texas flirting with a top six spot. Then North Carolina FC comes in at the bottom. One, scores from around USL League One. New England Revolution two, two goals. In the second half, a 2-2 draw. Ford Madison, a 2-1 lead over Tormenta. Sweater, Worcestershire, or Shire, I guess. It doesn't matter what I say, the Camry speaks for itself. Get $1,250 customer cash, or qualified buyers get 0% APR financing for 60 months on a new 2021 Camry. Hurry in today. Toyota, let's go places. Through our work during the pandemic, we've touched the lives of more than half a million people and their families. But we cannot continue our efforts and meet the ongoing demands without you. Please give to our Rebuild Tarrant County Fund and support your United Way and the community that we all love so dearly. Join us as we reimagine and rebuild a stronger Tarrant County by going to rebuildtarrant.org. Thank you for caring. Thank you for living united. We're the ones that help keep you on track and stay with you through every push. Helping you dig out from injuries and keeping your mind and body in the game. We fuel you for battle so you can stay in the fight no matter what. 
Whatever you do, Texas Health Sports Medicine is here for your win. The home side has provided nothing but fireworks here tonight. North Texas on top of North Carolina, 3-0. Ken Levicka back with you from Globe Life Park in Arlington. And let's take a look at how we got here. And it was inside the first 10 minutes when Khalil Elmedkar got into the action. Abba Yevu finds El Medkar, who was all by himself at the top of the box, was able to mosey in. Right foot, left foot, and right into the back of the net. No one closing on him. McGuire doesn't stand a chance. It was 1-0 in favor of North Texas. Then, about 15 minutes later, look at that ball from Nicky Hernandez, and what? An attempt from Almedkar, puts it off the post. Things are going so well for Kazu. The post is assisting him now. His fifth goal of the season. And it was 2-0. Then, late in the first half, Derek Waldeck with an absolutely superb run. That hardly did it justice. At the end of this, where he went three quarters of the pitch, he lays it off to De Marias, who has his first goal in a North Texas shirt. And it is 3-0 here at halftime. First half stats, and it's been pretty overwhelming. North Texas, seven shots on target. Three of them have found the back of the night. 19 shots in total for North Texas. And both teams have a yellow card. One substitution in this match so far. I was Hope Avayevu coming off due to injury in minute number 24. North Texas has really dug North Carolina a hole, and you just don't know where the chances are going to come from. North Carolina doesn't appear to have a ton of ideas here, and it has been a rough go of it. We set on our open our keys to the game driven by Toyota that North Carolina needed to find confidence. Well, unfortunately, when you concede in the opening 10 minutes, it is hard to keep the chin up. North Carolina battled. They did find their way into looking at least organized on the attack, at least a semblance of threatening. But then once the Kazu goal happened, you could start to see that things were not going to go North Carolina's way. And then nobody challenging Derek Waldeck as he launched himself down the pitch after picking off a Pearson pass in the midfield or 35 yards in which someone could have tried to impede Waldeck. No one did and Waldeck able to find De Marias who is making a run up the right channel. Marias an easy goal. That was a backbreaker if the back wasn't broken already. North Carolina is in a world of trouble here against the North Texas team that is finding itself as it prepares for a huge showdown on Tuesday at Chattanooga. Two matches are final already tonight in USL League One. Revs two, two goals, one in the 86th, one in the 87th to pull even with Richmond and earn a 2-2 draw on the road. That is not good news for North Texas because that is the team that they were three points behind for that sixth spot in the table going into tonight. And then forward Madison able to hold off Tormenta two to one. Up in Wisconsin. Nelson Flores has come on for North Carolina. Flores, a halftime substitution for Shermaine Martina. Flores, the El Salvadorian, the former Oakland Roots man, will come on for John Bradford and company. And we are underway in the second half here from Arlington, Texas. First meeting all time between these two clubs, and it has been all men in red. 
Ken Levicka with you. So glad you're hanging out with us on a Saturday night. This is not the final match of the evening. That has just kicked off in the desert where Tucson plays host to Union Omaha. Oh man, we just had a ball launched right there off that. of the head of is that Kazu? I believe it might have been. No, it's Nikki Hernandez who took that right to the face. Right to the temple, it looked like. The right side of his head. And he went down in a heap. That will make you woozy. That will have your head spinning. That was point blank. And right off his head. Again, Nelson Flores is your halftime substitution for North Carolina. Shermaine Martina, his night comes to an end. So here's the updated table now. Chattanooga at the top of the table. They have the weekend off before they welcome North Texas into town on Tuesday. Union Omaha can jump back into first if they can pick up a road victory tonight at Tucson. And again, that match is just underway. Greenville is on the road tomorrow at Fort Lauderdale as they try to keep pace. What's wild about Greenville is they have won only twice in the last two months. It's been over a calendar month since they've picked up their last victory, yet they sit smack in the middle of the playoff conversation still after all of that, the defending champs only four points off the top of the table coming into tonight. So it has not been pretty for Greenville, but all they have to do is right themselves, get hot again, and they become a dangerous threat. I don't know. And if we are going to see Nikki Hernandez again tonight, he comes off up 3-0 with Chattanooga coming on Tuesday. You don't want a key player of yours who's been outstanding coming on as a sub tonight to suffer any further damage. You wonder if Eric Quill is just going to call it a night for Nikki Hernandez. Though in that midfield, at that right midfield position, that would be the second sub entered in tonight because Hernandez came in as a sub for Avievu. So it's all North Texas, it's all smiles. It's been a cascade of goals, but if there's one downside you can look at, it's that North Texas has suffered some physical harm here tonight. They're gonna need all the bodies they can get against Chattanooga, a team that comes at you for 90 minutes every night. And at times, they do so violently. Now, can North Carolina at least find some pride? And not that they've meekly disappeared in this match, but they certainly have not done enough to match the level of North Texas. Defensively, there have been three big instances where They've looked a bit soft in the back and all three times North Texas has made them pay. If you're not impeding North Texas on the attack, you're not gonna win. And North Carolina tonight too many times has gone full porous. Allowed North Texas to do whatever it wanted. Kalila Medcar was given way too much space on the first goal. In the 10th minute, Kazu was unmarked as the ball caromed off the post to the spot. Kazu was able to collect and easily deposit for the second goal. And then nobody for 35 yards. And there were five defenders around him, decided to challenge Derek Waldeck, who finished off a glorious run by picking out Gabriel De Marias to make it 3 0 in the 40th minute. 
John Bradford right now, he's looking for anybody who wants to step up, be physical, be a presence, earn themselves a playing time here in the final 14, 15 matches of the season. As good and as promising as the month of July was for North Carolina, it has been as equally nightmarish here in August. John Bradford won USL League One Coach of the Month honors in July because as here's a potential opportunity. Kazu onto his right foot, lost his footing, maintained possession, pushes it to Waldeck. He'll lob it into the area, headed down. And Marias was looking for a second, but McGuire, no problems there. We'll see how this developed here. Waldeck floated it in to Marias to come up over the top of Nelson Flores, but Flores had done enough to box him out of that play. But back to North Carolina, the month of July, three clean sheets. Left-footed swinger is punched away. The most notable of those clean sheets come in in a scoreless draw back on July the 10th against Greenville. North Carolina was downright stingy in July. There was cause for optimism, and here in August, all of that good work done defensively has completely disintegrated. North Carolina has become a sieve in front of their goal. Here's a shot from distance. Shuttler on a short hop. That could have caused him problems, and instead he handled it well, denying Albadawi. If you're North Carolina, that's good enough, though. That's the first true trouble that you've at least tried to show Colin Shuttler tonight. So even if you have to shoot from distance, Albadawi put a good foot on it and at least made Shuttler have to do some work. This is battled for. Somehow won by De Marias, but the flag is up. Almedkar thought that he might be able to walk in on McGuire. That one was close. But that's what we're talking about here with North Carolina defensively. There was absolutely no reason that De Marias should have been able to win that ball. Bracketed by two defenders. And still was able to pick out El Medcar. And that was closer than I think what North Carolina would have liked to have seen onside, offside. And in fact, we may take a look at that again. It sounds like you might be able to make a case that Ahmed Carr was onside. North Carolina may have just gotten a break, but we'll take a look at it. Fine folks in production, always great work. Our executive producer, Brian Sevilla, and his crew. This is pushed up the touch line. Fought for in the corner. Bodied off the ball was Josh Cohen. And North Texas wins it back. This is played up ahead to Nikki Hernandez. Hernandez, what will we do here? One on one. Hernandez. And it was right foot. McGuire punched it over the bar. He got a leg on it, and Hernandez is denied. He can't believe it as he puts his head on the post. No. Hernandez moved down in Mabai, gave himself room. That would have been absolutely sensational. McGuire equal to the task, and he keeps Hernandez off the highlight reel. That should be in the discussion for save of the week. McGuire's degree of difficulty on that, high. Hernandez was coming in like a freight train. He was shielded off by his own defender was McGuire, Malik Mabai, and McGuire still denied Hernandez, who just couldn't put it up over his outstretched leg. Short corner, delivered into the box, played back to Kazu. Kazu on his left foot, now Colin Smith. 
work to the left. Ahmed Carr delivers! It was miss hit by Damo Reyes, who made a strong run. Now Ahmed Carr, back heel. Dispossessed by Hamilton. Ahmed Carr won it back. Was looking for Damo Reyes. It can't be cleared out. Hernandez, what a pest, he wins it back. Hernandez, Hernandez. Pushes it up top, it's back to Hernandez. Step through, Los McGuire finally dives and ends the threat. North Texas relentless. Still too much room for North Texas to be able to operate. Now Medcar simply took it right back from Hamilton. Hernandez kept it in. It came back to Nicky Hernandez, look at that. Ramirez played it back to Hernandez. And El Medcar finally watches as McGuire pulled it into his chest. North Carolina right now, that defense consists of sticking out legs and hoping. Hernandez along the touchline. Can't watch the match, turn on Sirius XM FC 157, North America's only 24-7 source of soccer radio featuring Ray Hudson, Tony Miola, Rodney Marsh, and USL All Access with Mike Watts and Devin Kerr every Tuesday night, 7 Eastern time. You can also hear live action from the USL, MLS, Premier League, and more all on Sirius XM FC 157 and the SXM app. We're gonna go back to that offside that was called on Almedkar. And you see De Marias battling two defenders. There's no question, Almedkar was onside by a good three steps and should have been able to walk in on goal against McGuire. That was a missed call. North Carolina got lucky. This is fended to Marias, a whistle and a point to the spot. And North Texas has an opportunity to tack on another one. De Marias, heel contact from behind, hits the turf, and Kevin Feikar says, penalty. De Marias making the most of his first start for North Texas. Ferry, De Marias, and he was chopped down. That's an easy call by Malik Mbai. It'll be Nicky Hernandez looking to convert. Hernandez looks in on McGuire. Hernandez, it's four. Never a doubt. North Texas soaring on this Saturday night. And it's 4-0. Stutter step. Got McGuire to lean to his left. Hernandez goes bottom corner. Now this has completely fallen apart for North Carolina now. For Hernandez, his second goal of the season. Dan Marias drew the penalty. And this is gonna be a North Texas side that is going to be flying high and feeling great about itself as they head into Chattanooga for a must watch affair Tuesday night on ESPN Plus. We're seeing some activity on the touchline. So we'll have some substitutions here soon and think about it. If you think about it, the fact that right before the penalty, we were looking at what was a very obvious missed call by the side official, calling it offside on what was a very onside Kalila Medcar, and this could have been worse so far in this second half. Selmir Mischich is going to enter for North Carolina. as is JT Kamara. There's Mischich. 
the 18 year old is in. Might as well see some of these young guys. We're also going to see North Texas make some changes here as well as they begin to rest up for that Chattanooga matchup. It looks like Emanuel Almaguer and Bernard Camungo are getting loose on the North Texas side. This takes a deflection. Colin Smith will watch it to Shuttler. Shuttler says, all right, everybody, retreat. Selmir Miscic, the 18-year-old out of Bosnia. He is with North Carolina on loan from Philadelphia Union 2 in the USL Championship. Maldonado pushes it forward to El Medcar. North Texas hunting for more. El Medcar, his cross deflected out. Michelob Ultra corner coming. JT Kamara, the 19 year old, the native of Sierra Leone. Also seeing some time here now for North Carolina. Blaine Ferry will come off in favor of Almaguer and Kamungo is going to come on for Kazu. Here comes the corner. And it McGuire had to fall on that. It was played through. I believe Ferry might have gotten a heel on that. McGuire had to react very quickly to avoid a fifth goal. My goodness. Here is Ferry. And actually, that wasn't Ferry in the box. That was De Marais. Now Almedkar. Almedkar. The cross! It couldn't find Kazu, who nearly had a second. Hamilton was able to get enough of a foot on it to impede it. North Texas is searching and probing for that fifth goal. Ferry got there, kept it in play. Hustle despite the fact his team is already up 4-0. Ferry, what a ball! But Maldonado couldn't handle it. How did Ferry pick him up? North Carolina trying to hit on the counter. This is an opportunity. Cohen is taken down along the touch line. And we're gonna have a card. A yellow is shown, it's Nicky Hernandez. Cohen looked in, and that was clunky from Hernandez. And here come the North Texas substitutions that we mentioned. Imanol Almaguer, the long time North Texas Academy man turned pivotal North Texas contributor. He'll come on, and again, he'll take out Blaine Ferry. This will be the first appearance of the season for Almaguer where he didn't start. And then Bernard Camungo, the Tanzanian, will take Kazu off, who scored it for a fifth time tonight in this 2021 campaign. North Carolina. The free kick, it's headed in and headed out. And right away, Bernard Camungo gets a touch on the ball and a long ball forward. Played well by Mbai in what could have been a dicey situation, but North Texas once again wins it back. Now here's Camungo with a lot of room. Camungo has a lot of speed. He has a lot of drive. Camungo into the area. Camungo onto his left foot, had a pass denied. It falls to Almaguer. Almaguer said, I just came in, I want to give it a shot. And he put it well wide. And both substitutions have come on and have decided we're going to be aggressive 
This is no time to let a foot off the gas. We need to be in prime form four days from now. North Carolina, meanwhile, this tough stretch for them time-wise. Had to go to Chattanooga Tuesday. Beaten soundly there. Short turnaround here to a place that in the history of USL League One has been the most difficult place to play. They've come in, been put down soundly here. And then have to go short turnaround again Wednesday. At least it's at home against forward Madison. This is a good ball in. Unable to find the mark. Cole Frame was in the area, but just couldn't get ahead on it, and it rolls out of play. That was a nifty cross with pace, though, from Josh Cohen. Frame just a split second late. Cole Frame's gonna be a good one. 12 years with North Carolina FC youth. Five, the last five with the academy, and he has grown into quite a player. And this was dangerous. And we have a yellow that is shown. That brought the North Kinger. That is the third yellow of the match. Nazmi Albadawi was shown a yellow as well. That had to have been for conduct or a reaction after that play because he wasn't necessarily involved in that play in the moment. Albadawi is going to deliver a free kick from where that foul occurred. See if Albadawi is just going to try and put it on goal. 68th minute, 4 0 North Texas. And here's a shot wide. It was not Abu Dhabi that took it. And North Carolina thought that that took a deflection as they protest the point for a goal kick from Kevin Ficar. Mischic, about five feet wide on that free kick from about 23 yards out. This is played back to Shuttler. And he delivers it right back to North Carolina. al -Badawi. And it's played to the midfield. Cohen. Good patience, good strength. Sprayed to the outside, but missing the accuracy to develop a run is North Carolina, and it frustratingly rolls across the end line. North Carolina has conceded 11 goals in just shy of their last three matches. 13 in just shy of their last four matches. We're talking astronomical goal concession numbers here now for North Carolina. And again, what's wild is that this is a club that had three clean sheets in the month of July. And then the calendar turned and everything has completely disappeared from a defensive standpoint. Emmanuel Almaguer has picked up a yellow. As things have gotten chippy, there's a lot of join, a lot of talking right now. Almaguer, who just came on, picks up a yellow. This is lobbed forward. Salas able to shield off the ball, and it bounces right to Shuttler. And again, as we mentioned in the opening half, both these teams came in. 28 yellows tied for least in USL League One. And North Texas has four yellows shown tonight. North Carolina has one as well. 
Now what's interesting about North Texas is yes, they have 28 yellows tied for least in the USL, USL League One heading into tonight. They are no longer least in USL League One, but they have one of the higher numbers of red cards shown this year, five. North Carolina has the least fouls conceded at 151. And tonight, you can bet that John Bradford defensively maybe would have taken North Carolina, committing some fouls if it meant that they didn't allow North Texas attackers from simply walking into the box and having their way, being able to pick out spots on Jake McGuire's goal. The USL is committed to supporting the LGBTQ plus community through the Forever Proud project. The USL will strive to create safe and welcoming environments for all fans, players, employees, and partners. Here's a shot and a diving stop from Shuttler from distance. Learn more at uslsoccer.com slash forward forever hyphen proud. That's uslsoccer.com slash forward forever hyphen proud. A left footed blast from JT Kamara it forced Shuttler to dive to his left. And he was able to punch it away. Good aggression there from JT Kamara. He's on loan from Louisville City. Making his 15th appearance. This is the only appearance so far this season for North Carolina that he has not started. has been a bright spot in what has been a rough 2021 for North Carolina in their opening season in USL League One. Flores, Mischich, now Al Badawi. along the touch line to Flores, played to the middle. Cohen, tackled away, Cohen recovers. This will find its way to Mischich. Mischich a step over, keeps it on his right foot. Now Cohen, this is better from North Carolina. A sustained spell of possession. Cohen then, a weak cross, cleared away, Maldonado. Delivers up ahead. Well blocked by North Carolina. And this will roll back to the other end for Jake McGuire. Well, it's certainly a tougher task for North Carolina when key members of their midfield are not playing. Pekka has missed the last couple. The veteran, the Brazilian, the former San Antonio FC captain, did not make the trip. Luis Arriaga, the man next to him in that midfield, he's injured. And that does create a pretty sizable hole and reduced options for John Bradford. Union Omaha has scored in Tucson. So Union Omaha in real time is back atop USL League One. It is 1-0 Union Omaha. And now we're gonna have a free kick coming for North Carolina from a dangerous area. Mischich is roped down by Colin Smith. Smith, the homegrown sounding of FC Dallas. There's the yellow to Colin Smith. That is yellow number five for North Texas tonight. Five yellows, four goals. 
Al-Badawi is going to handle the free kick. Al-Badawi puts it right on Shuttler. Just fluttered it right to him. You could see Al-Badawi, as soon as he struck it, the shoulders went limp and frustration abound for the side from North Carolina. North Texas pushes into the attacking third. Smith to Kamungo. Kamungo will defer. Back to Maldonado, wrap on his right hand. Now Colin Smith. Maldonado searching, looking for help. Smith played it to Kamungo. Kamungo dispossessed by Albadawi. That's one back. We're going to see Javon Rio come on for North Texas. Oh, what a ball through. Play to the middle, and it's. Clubbed wide by De Marais. He should have had two and he missed hit it. Al McGuire started the whole thing. Al Medcar, what a ball to Al McGuire, who said, get your second, Gabrielle. And Gabrielle pushes it wide left. Kaiser Gomez, Jabron Rayo will come on. Gomez will. If Mikey Maldonado the rest of the evening off. Jabron Rayo, arguably who's been the best player this season for North Texas. We'll send Gabriel Demarias to the bench. Demarias' his first goal for North Texas. Well deserved. Ron Rayo, who entered tonight, tied for the goal scoring lead. On this North Texas club with Kazu, now one behind his Brazilian teammate, with Kazu scoring in the opening half. Kaiser Gomez has been with FC Dallas since late July. He's back here for a spell with North Texas. Eric Quill is going to hope he can stick with him for a little bit. A couple of these key matches coming back. North Texas is formidable when they have their full array of players. They've been poached a bit by FC Dallas this season. This is crunch time. They're going to need their talent. So FC Dallas has been much better as of late in MLS. Right-footed curler wide by Mischich, who has been active since he came on as a substitute in this second half. We mentioned Aaron Quill a significant amount tonight, as you'd expect for someone who two years ago, the coach of the year in USL League One, led North Texas to the championship, someone who was held in very high esteem from a developmental standpoint. He did not make the trip to Tucson last Saturday in that two nothing victory because of a bout with COVID-19. Quill, who is fully vaccinated, developed symptoms during the course of the week and tested positive for COVID. And so spent the week at home. He spent the week of training, watching from his quarantine room at his house, live video of training and was able to make observations off of that and then meet remotely with his coaching staff. Waldeck, who has an assist tonight. Al McGuire on the chase is Nicky Hernandez. Now Colin Smith. Smith unable to unleash the cross to play it back. Ramirez, left side of the area. A battle, one back by North Carolina. But Quill, because of technical difficulties at Tucson last week, the television broadcast was non-existent. And so Eric Quill, who was gonna hunker down at home and watch the game, he instead 
was receiving detailed texts from staff members trying to explain to him what was happening and what they were observing so that at least he had a semblance of an idea of what was transpiring. Two first half goals for North Texas helped that cause. But then he talked to the team at halftime and his coaching staff at halftime based on what he was able to envision through text message. Ah, the marvels of modern technology. But Eric Quill is back tonight on the touchline after testing negative finally for COVID, just has ancillary cough. Low cross was never destined for anything great. Cohen out of desperation blasting it in and Shuttler falls on it. That goal for Union Omaha came in the 19th minute at Tucson. Just a few minutes ago, that an own goal scored by Tucson. Union Omaha so stout, so tough defensively, the last thing you want to do is be putting in own goals against them. That is a recipe for frustration. Oh, what a ball forward. Colin Smith chugging along. Can he get there? Yes, he can. Smith looks in. Trying to find options, step over, gets to the end line, plays it back, nearly found his target, but could not find the feet of Rayo. And then that is deflected wide and out of play, and it'll be a Michelob Ultra corner for North Texas. And Smith did the right thing, just soared right by the defender, Max Flick, but could not find the right weight on that pass for Jabron Rayo. If it found Rayo, he may be celebrating goal number five like Kazu did in the first half. Goal number five on the season, and he would also be celebrating goal number five on the night for North Texas. Ahmed Carr delivers the corner. It falls to the feet. And finally played away. Kaiser Gomez had it at his feet. It was blocked away. Hernandez trying to force that through. One back by North Carolina. They have numbers. It's a three on two. Mischic. Mischic is taken down. The referee says play on. North Texas a bit slow to get back. Winded after full sprints there down the pitch. If that didn't sum up North Carolina's night. Three on two counter. Mischic tries to win a whistle instead of working it to the wings where he had support and the referee opts not to call the foul. North Carolina is gonna go one more substitute here. It'll be Thorne Simpson who comes on to the match in the final seven minutes or so. It'll be Cole Frame coming off for Simpson. Gomez, long ball forward, perfectly placed. Almed Carr. Al Maguer, back to Almed Carr. Almed Carr, what can he do with it? errant delivery, but Colin Smith gets there, and Colin Smith will give North Texas a corner. And all corners are brought to you by Michelob Ultra. So here is Thorne Simpson, who we just mentioned. He comes on. And Cole Frame. His night is done. From that obstructed view portion of the field comes this North Texas corner. It goes to the far post. Gomez got a head on it, but it's wide. United Soccer League, all 31 championship clubs and its players stand together in support of diversity, inclusivity, 
equality, and compassion. For more information on the USL's commitment to change through the United Against Racism campaign, visit uslsoccer.com. That's uslsoccer.com. Simpson, who just came on with his first touch, and he's bodied up by Gomez, and Simpson earns the whistle. roll right to Shuttler. North Texas entered tonight the only team on the outside of the playoff picture. And a reminder in USL League One, that's the top six. But the only team on the outside of the playoff picture in positive goal differential, plus one. When they are right, they have enough to make a serious run. They have had inconsistent lineups this year and they have not played well away from Arlington. That has been North Texas is undoing, though it certainly feels as if it's coming together. North Texas in just a handful of minutes is going to be unbeaten in its last five. They have made up some ground here in this USL League One table. Foul as Almaguer hits the deck. So as it stands right now, North Texas sits seventh in the table, a point back of Toronto two. Tormenta and New England two. Texas is right there. And a team like this with acumen, with a history of success, don't think that these other squads don't feel North Texas lurking. The lone match tomorrow in USL League One will come from South Florida, where Fort Lauderdale will play host to Greenville. Greenville all banged up. I've seen 14 players suffer injuries this year. And John Hark says, hey, I just need to stay positive in training and make sure everybody understands I still believe, we still believe that offending champs have not looked good. They've won only twice in the last two months, yet they're only four points off the top of the table. If the Union Omaha result holds at Tucson, it will be seven points off the top of the table, but still well inside the playoff six. We are well into the sunset of our match here. North Texas really in complete command since the onset. A Midcar scored in the 10th minute, and it has been an avalanche of North Texas success since. This is about to be the fifth win of the season in nine matches here at home for North Texas. Flores trying to bully his way into the area, earns himself and his team a corner. Nicola Walter brings you this corner. And Nelson Flores brings Albadawi over to handle the corner. It'll be a right footed in swinger. Just a couple of minutes of stoppage time upcoming. Albadawi plays it short. Step over. Kamara, Colin Smith came over and escorted it across the end line for another corner kick. Two minutes, two minutes of stoppage time. Al Badawi, this time will swing it in and it's headed up and over Colin Shuttler's goal. And that may be the last opportunity of the evening for North Carolina to get on the board. So 
So now North Texas will prepare for Tuesday night at Chattanooga. All eyes are going to be on that match. That is a big one in the grand scheme of things, especially here for North Texas and their prospects in 2021. Contenders or pretenders? That could be a message sender on Tuesday. Chattanooga will be ready. Kamungo is fouled. This will be a direct free kick for the hosts. We have goals tonight from Almedcar and Marias, Kazu, and Nikki Hernandez on a penalty at the lone North Texas goal in this second half. Could have been five or six. Almaguer blasts it right into a three-man wall. Almaguer, though, has it given right back, just handed to him by Hamilton. And he heads to the corner, but fumbles it out of play. We also had an offside called, an incorrect call where Almedkar would have been able to walk in on goal. None of it matters, though, because North Texas takes care of business in complete command. No doubt about the better team tonight. North Texas beats North Carolina 4-0. And North Texas continues its hunt for the top six in USL League One. Had a wide selection of players to choose from and Kazu earns man of the match honors for North Texas. It was this goal. Came off the post on an Almedkar shot. Fell right to Kazu at the penalty spot. And he put it in for his fifth goal of the season. Kazu is the Mikkel of Ultra man of the match and he has the most goals of anybody for North Texas in 2021. We'll come back, show you highlights, final numbers, and say farewell. North Texas beats North Carolina 4-0 on this Saturday night. $1,250 customer cash or qualified buyers get 0% APR financing for 60 months on a new 2021 Camry. Hurry in today. Toyota, let's go places. Through our work during the pandemic, we've touched the lives of more than half a million people and their families. But we cannot continue our efforts and meet the ongoing demands without you. Please give to our Rebuild Tarrant County Fund and support your United Way and the community that we all love so dearly. Join us as we reimagine and rebuild a stronger Tarrant County by going to rebuildtarrant.org. Thank you for caring. Thank you for living united. A good night for the hosts as North Texas throttles North Carolina 4-0. to zero. I'm Ken Levicka back here at Globe Life Park. Let's take a look at how we got that 4-0 scoreline. And it was early and often for North Texas. 10th minute, that's when we saw our first tally of the night. Avayevu picks out Almedkar, who just has a red carpet rolled out for him. The defense retreating at the edge of the area, and Almedkar has enough time to put it on his left foot and beat Jake McGuire. And it was 1-0 North Texas, a harbinger of things to come, because then it was Kazu's turn. Beautiful ball from Hernandez. Shot from Almedkar off the post, but right place, right time. Kazu, a goal scorer's dream, falls right to him, and he's able to score for the fifth time this season. Derek Waldeck in the 40th minute made a three-quarters of the pitch run and was able to lay it off 
to Gabriel De Marias, who knew what to do with it. His first goal for North Texas, the third on the night for North Texas. And it was 3-0 at halftime. Then in the 58th minute, Malik Mbai. This was a very lackadaisical defensive effort. A challenge certainly worthy of a point to the spot and a penalty. That's what happened. And it was Nicky Hernandez who easily went low and left and made it 4 nothing. And that was your final. North Texas 4, North Carolina 0. Domination for North Texas. They put up a ton of shots. They were well into the 20s in this one. They convert four different times in North Texas has a sixth victory on the season, and they move into the seventh spot in USL League One. So North Texas has Chattanooga upcoming on Tuesday. North Carolina licks its wound, short turnaround Wednesday at home against forward Madison. For Brian Sevilla and all of the production crew, a wonderful job on this Saturday evening. We are glad you spent time with us. I'm Ken Levicka. We say good night from Globe Life Park. It's USL League One on ESPN Plus. This copyrighted telecast of the United Soccer League, League One, cannot be retransmitted, rebroadcast, or reproduced without the expressed written consent of the United Soccer League, League One.